welcome to my channel for those who are following these last videos you know that we are going through all the different types of muscular disorders in horses if you missed any of the previous video or if this is the first one that you are following uh, remember that you can find all of them in the playlist on muscular disorders uh, furthermore if you want to watch more video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and now let's start this time I'm going to speak about recurrent exertional rhabdomyolysis. This is a form of rhabdomyolysis that's believed to be congenital and associated to a problem in the regulation of muscular contractions. But the gene responsible of this pathology has still not been identified. It has been described especially in thoroughbred, but it can happen also in other breeds and the disease seems more common in fillies, in particular if with a nervous character. The acute episodes of rhabdomyolysis are associated with exercise or stressful conditions. We still don't know the exact cause, but studies conducted up to now suggest that there is a problem in the regulation of intracellular calcium similar to what happened in malignant hyperthermia. Clinical signs are those typical of rhabdomyolysis with muscle tremors, fasciculations, stiffness, prolonged recumbency, tachycardia, sweating, and sometimes they can be confused with colic pain. Diagnosis is presumptive, based on clinical signs and the history of recurrent episodes but there is no definitive test to confirm it. Muscular biopsies show the same alteration of any episode of acute rhabdomyolysis. For the emergency treatment of acute rhabdomyolysis, I invite you to watch the dedicated video, while for long-term management, there are few recommendations regarding the diet, exercise and environment. Low carbohydrates, high fat diets are recommended and the benefits are not associated with the change in metabolism of muscle fibers, but to the fact that horses are more calm and show reduced excitability in stressful events. As for other types of myopathies, after an initial period of rest, it's recommended to maintain programs of regular exercise and it's also important to minimize any possible source of stress by following a daily routine to which horses can get used to. If development of acute episodes can get under control, prognosis for life can be good, but for athletic activity may remain guarded because competitions are stressful events and can continue to cause the occurrence of acute episodes of rhabdomyolysis. Well, I hope that you liked the video. I wish you a happy Easter and I will be back with more videos after the holidays. Bye!